Welcome, Mr. Sabursky. Here's Kevin Machina Arrow and uh, several interns who are doing a college internship program. We focus on five key elements. Those are culture, literacy, arts, technology, and health. We have two missions. One is to put really good programs into schools in the city. The second uh, goal that we have is to open a charter school. We are just doing outreach and we're trying to get some of our programs up and running so we can do after school programs in schools while we're putting our charter school together. We believe in strongly that there should be um, bilingual education. And if uh, parents are first generation, kids are going to grow up, of course, learning English and being part of American culture, but they should still not lose um, that chance to be bilingual and still maintain their cultural identity. We uh, have today to read these really great books. Luis Aguilar Moreno, who's mm -hmm. a great second grade teacher in Arts and Letters, Clinton Hill. Uh, along with him will be Grace Law, one of my former students. Give a little bit of the Chinese interpretation of the stories we want so far. Well, good afternoon. I'm very happy to be here. I think that this project that Graham and everyone else, all of you, are taking on is very important. I think that this is one of the best neighborhoods, in, not only in, in Brooklyn, not only in New York, but in uh, the world, perhaps, where we have two strong languages, like the, I guess, would be called Mandarin and then um, Spanish, can come together with English to make things even stronger for Brooklyn, for New York. And that's where the real power of this city and this country is. Pero para los chiquitines, for you, I have this wonderful book, and we're going to be reading this, I'm going to be sharing this book with you. It's called The Many Faces of Max. Las Muchas Caras de Max. Este perrito tiene muchas caras. This little puppy has a lot of faces. I wonder what, how many, what kind of faces do you think, what kind of faces do you think you're going to see in this book? ¿Qué clases de, qué tipos de caras vamos a ver? ¿Qué ustedes creen? What do you guys think? You think we're going to see a happy face from Max? Una carita feliz? ¿Tú crees que Max va a tener una carita feliz? Yo creo que sí. <laughs> Do you think you're going to see a, a happy face from that? <laughs> what about you? Yeah, right? Okay. What about you guys? You think you're going to see a happy face from that? <laughs> oh, an angry face? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Let's find out. Okay, the many faces of Max. This book is written by Catherine Del Monte. That's a Spanish last name, Catherine Del Monte, and is illustrated by Susan Arena. She's also a Spanish last name. Some days I love to be silly. Some days I just love to be silly. Algunos días me gusta ser juguetón. 
Juguetón significa que le gusta jugar mucho, ¿no? Silly. How do we know that he's being silly? You want to tell us? How? He is, right? Do you see puppies do that sometimes? shy when I meet new people. I'm shy when I meet new people. Soy tímido cuando conozco a gente nueva. ¿Tus hijitas hablan español? Sí. También inglés. También inglés. Qué bueno. Tímido. Si es una niña, tiene que ser tímida. I cry when I hurt myself. I noticed that the word is in blue. Blue color. I just noticed that. Lloro cuando me lastimo. ¿Cómo tú crees que suena un perrito cuando llora? How do you think he sounds? Like? Yeah. Do you, do, you, do you know how a doggy sounds when, he, when he's hurt? Can you, can you say it? Can you sound it out? Say it. That was the development of your Oh, mira, está, una, está llorando el perrito, pobrecito. Oh, he's sad when his family goes away. Se, se siente triste cuando su familia se va. Le dicen adiós y el perrito se queda triste porque ellos se van. Probably Chinese, it would be okay, I'm okay, but you say it was a word. Watch out when I'm hungry. Cuidado cuando tengo hambre. Do you think that doggies really get hungry? Do you think that doggies love to eat? Huh? What do you think he's eating? I think he wants to eat this this oh. sweet bone. <laughs> I think that bone is made out of chocolate. What do you think? <laughs> of dog food. Of dog food. <laughs> Look how he's standing. Can doggies yeah. stand up like this? Yeah. They, yeah, can. they can. They can, right? See? Oh look, he's, he's, he's all happy now again. I am joyful when my family comes back home. I am joyful or I am happy when my family comes back home. Me siento bien alegre cuando mi familia regresa a la casa. ¿Los visto saltar a los perros a veces así? They jump, right? Really high? Yeah, they do. They do, right? When <laughs> well, they're happy. They're very happy. <laughs> Get, warm up. Most mornings I wake up with a smile. Most mornings the dog he does wake up with a smile. He's ready to greet today. He's like, Can you show me a smile? I smile. I smile. I smile. I smile. Puedes sonreírte, por favor? Smile for me. A little more. Yay! Oh, look at him. Or her. My friends make me laugh. Oh, boy. Do when doggies get together, do they, do they become really happy? Do you think they laugh sometimes? Yeah, I do. You do? <laughs> what about you? I don't think they laugh. You don't think they like, what's your name? Gabriela doesn't think puppies laugh or doggies laugh. What is your name? 
Can. 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 Okay. Can. Spelled Thank you for sharing. What is your name? ¿Cómo te llamas? Rosy. ¿Cómo? Lucy. Perdón, ¿cómo? Habla más fuerte. ¿eh? ¿Cómo? Daisy. Daisy, la tercera es la vencida. ¿Y tú cómo te llamas? ¿Perdón? Jerry. Mucho gusto, yo me llamo Luis. It makes me happy to chase the ball. How would you say that in Mandarin? Imagine. Uh huh. Uh, can you say it a little louder or slower? <laughs> I really want to know. <laughs> It would be, can you play that game? I'm very Nice. It makes me happy to chase the ball. Me hace feliz perseguir la pelota. Los perros le encantan las pelotas. ¿Por qué tú crees que le, les encantan la pelo, la, las pelotas a los perros? Sí. Sí. <laughs> ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué les encantan los perros las pelotas? The balls are their toys, so they're just completely attached to them. Why do you think that they love pelotas? Because they really want to play. Because they really, really want to play. Doggies are just so beautiful. They want to play with, with, with their friend, right? Like with us, when we throw the ball at them. Ah, the best feeling in the world is being loved. El mejor sentimiento del mundo es ser amado. Que alguien nos quiera, que nos haga sentir bien. Y está el corazoncito ahí. Look at the heart of love there. Y colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. And so it goes, this story is now done. <laughs> ¿Te gustó el cuento? Ah, ok. ¿Did you like the story? ¿Te gustó el cuento? Thank you. ¿Te gustó el cuento? Muy bien. 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 We're going to be making the accordion book. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of um, information about how the accordion book uh, was created or how it was developed. It started with the Asians. They're the ones who developed um, the accordion book. Well, they used to use scrolls. As the scrolls became longer and longer and bigger and bigger, it became difficult to store. So to actually make this book, what we're going to do, use construction paper. And what we're going to be making this type. And you also will need ribbons, like a bigger version of it, right? And you can use it front to back or however you want to. Once you've got our pages blue end to end, you're going to take the first sheet and just fold it in half. But you want to make sure not to get glue outside of this because your pages will glue together. You don't want that to happen. How many of you have made fans before? You know the fans that you fan yourself? Have you ever made that before? So you're just going to fold it back and forth, back and forth, making sure that you're folding. Oh, we're going to go around and help you. We're going to show you how to do it, okay? And you're going to cover the cardboard each with glue. Okay, so now once we put the cardboard in the center of our paper, we're going to then proceed to fold. What you're going to do is cut out this section right here. So therefore you're going to have this. Then you're going to glue these down. And then 
And you're going to place one end of the cardboard with the side that's now we cover on. So you have your first cover. Gina. You can either put it just a uh, hole punch through the back or whichever way you want to, you know, whether you want to call punch. One is O two oh nine two eight O five eight. Next one is O nine two eight O six O. And the last one is O nine two eight O five nine. Oh my god, you won! Woo! Right, give me the ticket, and then you get a prize. Oh Here, and, and everyone can take one of these if they want to try to... 
solve it. It's a little puzzle. It's easier than a Rubik's cube. You remove the little plastic here, and then you can slide them around and try to put them in the right order. Whoa, look at that! She's faster than you! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you hear my voice, clap twice. Let's hear it from Mr. Sabrisky. Yay! Thank you, thank you. So, this has been a program, a, a nine-week internship program for uh, connected partners with Brooklyn College. And uh, all of these wonderful people here have been donating their time as part of an internship. Many of them, um, it's not even a required internship. They just want the experience and they want to work at an educational nonprofit and practice their graphic design, their web development, their community outreach, marketing, um, and other business and administration skills and things like that. So today is the last day of the program, although we can still stay in touch and you know type any of these in. And if you need recommendations or letters or things filled out for your classes, you know, of course, just call me, email me. Um, I really got to know all of you, and I really appreciate um, the little family that we've become over these nine weeks. And uh, I just wanted to present you with these. And certificates and they say in recognition of and appreciation of your dedication passion and hard work during the fall 2018 stairs academy internship program in the areas of and then it lists the things that you were of various things you were working on um it tech support and different things that you guys are doing so they're all personalized and i try to hopefully i'm accurate with the groups that you were working in so alex thank you very much and we got one of these. We see the irony that you guys are helping prepare the folder that you're getting presented with. But I actually put these on my own. I could have said, here, make your own certificates. It's the same term But um, Sangam, this is your second one. So this is typically the fall. And it has another one which just it's coincidentally bigger. It doesn't need no slides anymore. But last semester when I printed them, we had bigger paper. So this is from the uh, spring semester. She actually interned twice. So you're getting two of these. This one has the categories from last semester. And this one's from Daisy, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I have your categories. I think I'll, I, I would like to actually say what everyone did. So Daisy has been working on grant research, online marketing, promotion, and community outreach, and, and also partnership development with uh, one of the other interns, Xiao. Uh, they created a partnership between their club at Brooklyn College, which is ALPHA, stands for? Um, Association for Latino Professionals of America. Right. And, um, so you know, we co-promoted each other's uh, events, and you know, because this is a good thing for uh, people who are going to Increase your professionalism to partake in this Stairs Academy internship. Thank you. Let me um, just highlight the ones I gave out already. Alex worked on graphic design, web development. Everyone's been doing this community outreach, and also he did some IT and tech support at my school. I had some letters. And Salam was human resources and administration. Uh, and also last semester, she was also doing uh, some research and statistics and graphic design. Shao Ting, um, in recognition, in the areas of grant research, online marketing, promotion, community outreach, and partnership development. Yeah. Recover. Um, Kalia, in recognition, in the areas of grant research, online marketing, promotion, community outreach. Thank you very much. Uh, Mohammed, web, web and app development. Um, Online marketing and promotion and community outreach. Thank you. Uh, 22 years of doing graduations, you think I'd be better at the handing and the picking. This is always difficult. Um, Olga, in recognition in the areas of graphic design, web development, community outreach, and IT tech support. She also came from my school. Thank you. Uh, Sandrine. She um, has been working in human resources and administration, also the grant research. I kind of combined the research and statistics with the grant writing center, going in grant research and um, photography. And she took the pictures that you guys, if they get a copy of it, you only So everyone got your pictures, I hope that you like them. 
And it's Sima. I mean, if you want to. Actually, I heard you today say it's, it's Sima, right? It's not Sima. It looks like it's Sima. Um, in the areas of grant research, online marketing, and promotion, and community outreach. Thank you very much. Lily. Web development, graphic design, online marketing and promotion, PR, community outreach. Wow. Thank you. And just in recognition and appreciation of grant research, online marketing, promotion, and community outreach. Thank you. And then one more question out of the technical job, but he's not finished, so he's going to continue on to the next semester. So I didn't prepare a certificate for you today, but he just joined the last couple of weeks. And have you guys been working on that? So they're working on the East Club app, so that app um, is very important to the success of the charter school later. Um, and the Ace Club, the after school program, so it's going to be so useful. So thank you guys for that. Thank you to our guests, Yesenia, Keith Middleton, Eric, who's been videotaping and taking pictures so that you can be in them even though some of you are doing it as well. And this is my first teacher, Charles Sabersky. <laughs> Thank you.